Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I am um, I'm taking my bag up. Um, I'm actually preparing my uh, third and fourth bag up because um, I have a bag up on my well I have the primary backup on my NAS uh, then I take a backup to another NAS and then I take a uh, I have two off-site backups uh, offline backups I have one in my safe in my house and I have one in my safe in my house in Portugal and um, those backups I, I use some dutchy drives and I have the dutchy drives right here and I need to test if I have some good good dutchy drives <laughs> that can store data and be safe so I've already started and I have the first dutchy drive here on the screen so um, I'll show you that here it is and uh, I can see that it's dutchy because it, it falls a lot along the way so it's all the way down to uh, saving data at a rate of 30 megabytes per second the top rate 248.6 megabytes per second is perfectly fine but there are some points on that hard drive that isn't mm, too good other than that this one actually doesn't look too dutchy this is the server the uh, Lenovo slash IBM x3650 model 4 this one has um, six bays for drives and I have the, the drive that I've just tested right here. It's a 10 terabyte SAS drive. I have another drive here, which is a 7 point something something a SATA drive, um, but an SSD, where I'm copying all of my uh, video data that I'm gonna be backing up, like the videos you have been seeing uh, for the many last, well, it's probably almost a year that uh, is being backed up here. I'm copying that from my NAS to this hard drive just because sometimes these dutchy drives they can be really slow so if I um, if I copy directly from my NAS to the dutchy drive it becomes extremely slow if it has a local copy from a decent quick enough SSD it somehow becomes a little bit better I don't know why but yeah I am copying that data here from my NAS and it's uh, it's copying over at the moment with a hundred and five hundred to a hundred and, and then it drops typical uh, but yeah I'm most definitely using all of my one gigabit connection to this so that's it's about the speed that I could expect for sure so um, I'm copying over as a uh, 500 gigabytes there and that's just for videos uh, 1400 to 1500 and it's only about 50 videos that are copying over um, but all the raw materials so I am gonna say that this um, this dutchy drive is not that dutchy it's actually pretty good compared to a lot of other dutchy drives so I'm gonna say this that drive is perfectly fine for uh, for being a uh, third or fourth backup so we're very carefully taking it out of the server and I have a marker here and um, I just call them bad they're not dead if they're dead they're dead this is just bad but it's it's okay for backup data just because it's a bit slow doesn't mean that it's dead so now I can uh, uh, I can test the next one. Oh, this is one of those Hitachi drives I like those I don't know there's something about this form factor that I just like so I hope this is a good one so just slide that in there and we'll hit the connector in there and then we will go to the screen and it should pop up Right about there at some point it usually takes a little bit oh, focus there we are yeah we need to online it we need to initialize it okay 
make a new drive. And this is going to be test number 41. I forget from time to time what number I've reached, but I remember that I used number 40 just a <laughs> half an hour ago. So, yeah, it's gonna mess around with that. It's gonna, f oh, that was quick. Let's format it. And then we're gonna start the test up here. And this is just my little test. It's not, uh, it's not a very good test. This is just my little test. It's not a very thorough test, but it gives me an indication of um, if this is a good or a bad drive. And um, yeah, I could spend forever and ever testing drives, but as you see on the table here, uh, it would take forever and ever if I wanted to do all of them. So this tests, tests a drive in about a minute or two. And I can very quickly see if it sucks Let's run this and see where it ends up. Okay, uh, next result is in. This one is clearly also bad. All the spikes going down here is where it has difficulties reading the drive and it takes a bit longer. And you can also see those yellow dots up here. And that's the random read writes uh, that has also run into issues. So this one is not as good as the first one. Next. So this is not gonna work. It's like a saw and it has a lot of random peaks down here. So yeah, next. Okay, I popped the next one in and um, well, this one isn't, uh, and then it pops up on the screen. I was gonna tell you that it was not good at all. Uh, let me check it. This is kind of part of my test. Look at how it's, it's not popping up very quickly. And it took so long to pop up in here that I, I thought it, it wouldn't pop up at all. So uh, right now it's just initializing the drive. It's, it hasn't even, we aren't even formatting it. Well, now, it, now we can format it. And it's not very lively. Oh, okay, it's still working on it. It's probably gonna take a while to format it as well. Okay, this has been formatting for approximately half an hour. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna call this one dead. Um, not because it is dead, but because when it's done, I'm probably dead. So one of us is dead and I prefer it to be the hard drive. So, dead. Oh yeah, I would call this a good drive. Look at that, the minimum transfer rate is over 200 megabytes per second. It does have a couple of dots here in the random, random read write thing down here, but yeah, this looks like a healthy drive. I'm gonna call this a good drive. And this is number 46. Um, I'm gonna call this, um, it has a good line there. It has random read writes here, nothing up here. So I'm gonna call this good. Ish. <laughs> this is a joke my brother made on me because I always says ish, uh, good ish and ah, that's bad ish. So he uh, got me a couple of bottles of ish. I don't know what that is, but it's alcohol free. So we decided it was a, it was a hate gift. So, um, yeah, but um, it tastes okay, ish. <laughs> Next drive. Okay, last 10 terabyte drive, and I would, um, I would call this bad. It's um, down to 3.4 megabytes per second, which is awful, but it's up to 241 megabytes per uh, second read write, probably mostly read. Uh, but it's all over the place so what you could still store data on it but it's not the best drive that we have found so far so yeah yeah okay so uh, seven 10 terawatt drives has been tested one was dead three was bad uh, well four was bad but this one wasn't that bad so that's the one that I'm gonna be using to copy my data over to 
and then we had two okay-ish <laughs> drives um, and these are gonna go into the data center I have a I have a place for those out there so yeah I have um I have some 12 terabytes that I'm gonna go on to while I drink my alcohol free ish results from the first 12 terabyte drive is in and this was uh, this is definitely bad uh, 0.4 megabytes per second is the worst that we have seen yet well except the one that was dead but yeah it still is able to store a lot of data on there and it might take forever and ever to get it back off again but yeah I'm gonna call this bad it's not dead it's bad it's, it's not a good drive but it's it's I would still like to have my data laying on this drive as a third or fourth backup and the second 12 terabyte drive uh, looks very similar to the first one uh, very doubtful so uh, ah, I hope I hope there's at least one good one okay test number 48 I think uh, we have our first good 12 terabyte it does have one random thing here a little dot but look at that 253.7 megabytes per second that is really good so I'm gonna call that a good drive last drive in for this time just waiting for it to pop up over here ah that would have been cool but yeah almost oh yeah another good 12 terabyte drive here that is perfect um, so yeah you see the numbers 251.4 megabytes per second and the minimum was 207.3 megabytes per second it does have some little random dots that it didn't get that quickly but it's still a good drive it's uh, I'm happy with that very nice okay it's getting really dark here uh, especially outside <laughs> um, I'm still copying over to my I, I call that disk in there my buffer drive for the videos so I'm copying from my NAS to the buffer but I have reached um, I'm now copying from video 1500 to 1600 I think we're at 1545 videos so that's still a lot of videos that I've made 1545 but from 1400 to 1500 is all done so I can copy this to this uh, this was the first drive that we looked at the the one that was bad but I said was still good enough for making a to a backup drive so I'm gonna try and copy all of these videos down here copy and we get another one up here so let's see what speed we can get so it goes very well right now uh, and then it goes down but yeah okay it, it varies quite a lot so that is 1.57 terabytes of of video data that is going that way so I don't actually believe it when it's over 200 megabytes per second it's bad and yeah <laughs> that speed is bad too and it's dragging down that one as well so Let's see, um, I'm gonna come back to it. Okay, it's a bit later. Um, it has been struggling here for a long time. And it, it gave up. It uh, tells me that the, oh, the destination. It somehow lost contact between the, the buffer disk and my, uh, my hard drive, the one that was uh, dodgy. Um, and it, it uh, tells me that an error has occurred and it didn't do well and blah 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 time and date uh, the the date is okay the time is not correct so it's not 8 26 oh it, that would be lovely then I would have all of my Sunday still uh, yeah we're not that lucky 
In nine minutes and 30 seconds, it's completed uh, copying all the data from my NAS to my uh, to my buffer drive. So in nine minutes, 30 seconds, I'm gonna try again, see if it's uh, more happy without having to do that other job as well. Okay, we're almost there. Only two gigabytes left. And with 100 megabytes per second, that's not a long time. I can I can waffle on that, I'm sure. I see uh, we are already down under half, so now there's only 15 seconds left that I have to fill out somehow by uh, waffling five seconds. I'm not gonna be able to see. Oh, okay, so let's try this again. See if it um, if it works better without the other copying going on. Mm. Yeah, there is this buffer thing that it fills up and then it drops quite considerably yeah yeah I am not sure about this drive it seems rather dutchy I'll um, I'll let it run for a little bit and see if it if it relives itself from the darkness into the light <laughs> so this is kind of working um, it's not fast it has a tendency to go down to zero bytes per second and then go up to a, a little bit more than that. Not anywhere near the hundreds of megabytes per second, but yeah, eventually it will get there. It has, uh, well, I think it died at 3%, but it's at 10% now of, of my copy of about 1.5 terabytes of uh, backup data. So I think it's fine. So um, yeah, I think we'll end it here. Uh, there were nothing meaningful in this video, so um, thank you for uh, watching my channel. Do subscribe to my channel so you can waste your time with me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.